All right, guys, welcome back to the Crypto Boys. We have the best video of all time that you will ever watch on YouTube today, right now. And I'm going to talk about Bitcoin, cryptocurrency. Are we in a bull market? Are we in a bear market? And a little shout out to little baby Carti. Colin just had a little baby. So we're going to talk about all those things. Why don't we just dive right into it? Okay, so first things first, what I do want to talk about is congrats to Mr. Colin Carty. He is a dad for the second time now. He just had his second kid, him and Jesse, his wife. Um, so congrats to them. They're both healthy. Um, Colin's healthy too, so all three of them are healthy, I guess. Uh, but yeah, all good. So congrats to him. That's awesome. That's why uh, you know he's been a little busy doing some stuff the last, last day or two. But uh, congrats to them. All right, so... What you guys want to know, what you guys want to listen to today is, of course, are we in a bull market? Are we in a bear market? Everyone that has been paying attention to crypto knows that we have been in a downtrend, right? That's not a secret by any means, right? Bull market, bear market. We are always bullish here in the, uh, the crypto boys and with the crypto studio with that cool sign in the background. Of course, we got to be bullish with that sign, right? But here's what I do want to say is the actual definition of a bull market and a bear market, right? Traditional finance, um, you know, has its own little thing. The the market cap of cryptocurrencies versus the market cap of your traditional finance, completely different. So it's almost like comparing apples to oranges. You're trying to take what people have learned, you know, from years and years and years of the stock market, the S&P 500, all of these other traditional finances and apply it to a new age technology trying to apply you write the speed of you writing with a pen versus you writing or typing on a computer like yeah i guess you can apply it but i think there's going to be some differences here so i do want to dive into that and and just kind of give you guys my opinion of where we're at in the market the sentiment has been super duper low i mean a lot of people are have been really bearish in the crypto world um like i said we stay bullish always especially on our favorite projects harmony we got our mtv we got our cardano we got our other favorites that we talk about here all the time but um for those specifically check out our other videos guys we have awesome ones that you guys are gonna love so let's get into it here's what we got google search definition of a bear market i probably spelled most of those words right not the best speller of all time that's why i got autocorrect okay a bear market is when a market experiences prolonged price declines okay check it typically describes a condition in which the securities or i guess cryptocurrencies price fall 20 percent or more from recent highs amid widespread pessimism and negative investor sentiment okay well the pessimism and the negative investor sentiment of course is whoever you ask there's always bearish people out there in the crypto world um so yeah i would say that this probably applies this definitely applies over the prolonged price price decline and then the other thing is that the security falls 20 percent over the period of time so if we're looking at our all-time high of sixty eight thousand dollars just over sixty eight thousand dollars for bitcoin that's all i'm talking is bitcoin right now because bitcoin rules all um for the most part <clears throat> if it drops 20 percent that brings it down to a fifty-four thousand dollar bitcoin hmm. well let's take a peek at this bitcoin price right now okay so yeah if we're looking at the actual price of bitcoin i mean over the last if we're looking at the last month you know the the 68k top um you know back in november if we take 20 percent off of that we're sitting at fifty four thousand dollars, right so uh you know that's that's just over this right there there's your 20 percent and it should be a, a two month cycle is what their actual definition is it has to go down for two months so from there another 20 percent off of that uh off of that 54 would get us to about forty three thousand. which i tell you what that sounds awful familiar because we've been down bouncing between 43,000, 41,000, 43,000, 40,000 back and forth for like basically the last month. Um, so that feels awfully familiar. So here's what I'll say. Are we in a bear market? You know, I guess technically um, from the wording of everything on the internet from previous traditional finance um, and other stocks of that nature, yeah, we have to be. I mean, it's been in a downtrend for, for two months, two plus months, and uh, it's been down over 20%. But I don't think that that the traditional new era, crypto itself, 
is going to have bear markets and bull markets moving forward. Yes, did it before? Yeah, absolutely. And, and crypto was down 80% in the previous bear markets. I don't think that's going to happen because market cap's getting bigger. People, investors are getting bigger. There's, there, there's more money circulating in the crypto space. Um, Michael Saylor, for example, I mean, is buying up Bitcoin left and right, hundreds of millions of dollars as often as he possibly can. Like that wasn't in the cards or on the table back in 2017 or 2013 or anything like that. Like that wasn't in the cards. So there's different run ups and different runs down. So if we want to look here too, I think this is this is kind of interesting to kind of take a peek at. This is the all time chart of uh, of Bitcoin itself or the the all of the charts. So we're going to bring it to the last two big kind of run ups that we've had here. So here what we're looking at we had a massive run i mean this was sitting at eighteen thousand dollars and it ran to to forty thousand so it it two x within you know basically a, a couple weeks three weeks or so came down a little bit corrected and then this this second blow off top and just hung out there and everyone was happy and and euphoric right well this happened very quickly this happened very quickly we hung out there and then it was in this this mini little bear market is actually probably what I would call it, you know? I mean, we were we were down there for almost two and a half months. Then we had this next run up. This next run up wasn't ex as explosive as this one over here, but it was kind of the same deal. It was up, it kind of came back down, it corrected, and then we had this massive run up, right? But this massive run up was shorter. It was much shorter lived than, than this one here. I mean, this one had one, two, three, four peaks. Um, this one kind of had one, two and then it kind of dinkled off into where we're where we're sitting now over the last couple months we've been hanging out down here so what i'll say with that is i think the cycles the four-year cycles themselves when it comes to bitcoin it's changing it's an ever-changing fashion um, that we have to pay attention to um you know with the time domain i think that instead of it being four-year cycles even though that's part of the bitcoin having i think it's kind of getting smushed and condensed down and we may end up having smaller bear cycles and smaller bull cycles. So timing it is gonna have to be uh, key. It's gonna have to be really, really important. You're gonna have to be paying attention to all these other indicators that we talk about on the channel. Okay, now, hopefully I got you guys super duper scared, right? I said the word bear market a bunch of times. That's not what I'm saying at all. You should not be scared. Um, you shouldn't be nervous. You should not be selling your crypto when we are at the bottom if you bought at the top and you're selling at the bottom that is a perfect way for you to get out of crypto and hate every single second of it that is not our goal here on our channel our goal is to show you guys the road of what we are traveling on hopefully make you a little money along the way um, and increase your financial iq here when it comes to the crypto world but what i will say and we talked about it time and time again is that we have been setting money aside just putting it on the sidelines for this day do I think we're at the bottom of our bear market right now? Actually, no, I don't. I think we're probably going to go lower, right? Um, do I think we're going to go to 20K? No. For you, those of you that voted on the 20K, 100K, I'm with you. I think we're going to get 100K before 20K because I don't think we're ever going to hit 20K again. That's just my personal opinion. Um, it's not financial advice. I just, that's what I think. So I think 30K, 30K maybe in the cards for sure. Um, so I think we can definitely still keep going down, but you have to accumulate in these lower areas. I mean, you know, if you're accumulating at 35, 40K Bitcoin, that's actually a pretty solid price if you have in your mind that I'm not gonna sell it until it hits 100K. I mean, that's that's 3X. That's, you know, it's potentially making you a decent amount of money if you're just putting into Bitcoin. So there, there's always something to consider. There's always a positive side to the coin. Whether we're in a downtrend or whether we're in an uptrend, you just have to play the market. You just have to pay attention to people like us telling you, hey, what these indicators are telling us, where we're at overall. Hopefully, I'm not boring you guys to death at all because I think this stuff is super fascinating and super interesting. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's really all I got for today, guys. So, as always, um, you know, make sure that you're smashing the like button. This video, um, if, you're, if you're liking what I'm telling you about, uh, where we're at in the actual maybe cycle or market, make sure you smash the like button. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. We will not stop here on the Crypto Boys until we have 1 million plus subs. If you want to be one of them, smash that subscribe button right now and you will be part of our journey. So as always, guys, thank you for being with the fittest crypto channel on YouTube. We will check you guys next time.